11 o'clock at night, Dan. Try 2 in the morning talking to these guys in the spin room and putting together the story you're about to see. And New York's very own Mayor Bill de Blasio, believe it or not, absolutely made the biggest splash not last night. He did it early. He did it often, generated a lot of buzz online, including from some celebrities. And it's because he wasn't afraid to mix it up with his opponents. I want to make it clear. This is supposed to be the party of working people. Yes, we're supposed to be for 70% tax rate on the wealthy. Yes, we're supposed to be for free college. Mayor Bill de Blasio came out with a bang, calling out his Democratic opponents for not speaking to the values of working people. He made memorable moments by cutting through the noise on immigration, talking about raising an African-American son, and got the fireworks started when he interrupted former Congressman Beta O'Rourke during a section on health care. Is, is fundamental hey, wait, wait, to wait, our Congress ability to get no, everybody yeah, careful. Private insurance is not working for tens of millions of Americans. When you talk about the co-pays, the deductibles, the premiums, the out-of-pocket expenses, it's not working. <laughs> that's How right. can you so, defend so for the those system that's not, not working? They like guts. They like it when a leader says, this is who I am, this is what I believe. I don't need everyone to agree with me, but I want you to know who I really am. And I think I was able to get that out tonight. New Jersey Senator Cory Booker had a slightly less memorable night, though he did speak passionately about gun control and was one of several candidates who spoke Spanish on the stage, seeming to question with his eyes how well O'Rourke knew the language at one point. I was actually trying to understand what he was saying and got a little uh, uh, caught up in the beginning of his remarks, but please, Beto is an incredible Spanish speaker. But overall, the woman who stayed above the fray and at the center of attention last night was Senator Elizabeth Warren. The highest polling candidate on the stage calmly but passionately laid out her plans all evening. Well, health care is a basic human right, and I will fight for basic human rights. That means President Trump had previously said he might live tweet the debates. He didn't really do that. He did post during, including one time in all caps where he tweeted the word boring. In fact, President Trump, to be frank, really wasn't at the center of the debate last night. He was certainly mentioned his policies were talked about, uh, some jabs were taken at him, but really wasn't at the center of the debate. And neither was former Vice President Joe Biden, who's, of course, leading this field. I don't believe he was mentioned once. The candidates spent more time sniping with each other, talking policy with one another than addressing one of the men, uh, one of the women who will be on the stage tonight. Of course, night two, we have Biden Sanders. We also have uh, Mayor Pete Buttigieg. So another big night tonight. And we'll be here for all of it. Live in Miami, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News. It's going to be interesting.